Mason Greenwood backed for Man United second chance after return decision agreed, as Eric Ten Hag shockingly suspended by the Premier League. Manchester United have been urged to hand Mason Greenwood a second chance next season once he completes his season-long loan at Hedefe. Former Red Devils winger Ian Storymore has backed Greenwood to resume his career at Old Trafford despite the club's sudden U-turn in the summer. In February, the Crown Prosecution Service dropped charges of attempted rape, assault and controlling and coercive behavior against the 22-year-old forward, which he consistently denied. Following a six-month internal inquiry into his 2022 arrest, The Athletic reported that United Chief Executive Richard Arnold had informed staff of plans to reintegrate Greenwood. Football director John Murdoff and manager Eric Ten Hag reportedly supported the stance. However, staff threatening to strike an external criticism is claimed to have prompted a late U-turn. It led to Greenwood joining La Liga side Hedefe on loan until next summer, by which point he will still have one year left on his United contract. The former United No. 11 is enjoying life in Spain and is gradually rediscovering the scoring touch that made him one of Europe's most exciting young attackers after his 2019 senior breakthrough. United's stance reportedly remains the same. They don't expect Greenwood to represent the club again at the end of his loan at Hedefe and beyond. However, Storymore believes he should remain at Old Trafford next sea. Everybody deserves a second chance. He has served his time, so to speak, and they should possibly let him back in next season, Storymore told Express Sport. He's an asset, isn't he? I think he's better than what they've got when he's at his best. Absolutely. Marcus Rashford striking a 3-1 defeat at Arsenal in September remains the only Premier League goal scored by a United forward this season. Ten Hag's side have scored just 13 goals in 12 league outings this term, a measly tally only six teams have failed to match. Rasmus Hoyland, who became United's most expensive ever striker in a £72 million summer deal, is yet to score his first Premier League goal. The 20-year-old Dane has netted five times in four Champions League group fixtures, but has failed to replicate his form domestically. Rashford is out of sorts, Anthony continues to underwhelm, and Jadon Sancho remains banished after effectively calling Ten Hag a liar on social media earlier in the season. Greenwood would no doubt boost the Dutchman's attacking options, but United's incoming in Yo's regime would face the same internal and external resistance if they attempted to sanction his return next year. In other news, Man United stars will be without Eric Ten Hag versus Everton due to new Premier League rule. Manchester United boss Eric Ten Hag will have to watch their game against Everton from the stands on Sunday, having been hit with a touchline ban under new Premier League rules. Ten Hag was shown a yellow card during United's 1-0 win over Luton Town before for the international break, having previously been booked in defeats to Tottenham and Arsenal this season. To a certain point, of course you have to accept decisions and I should do as well, Tin Hag admitted after the game. We have a very competent coaching staff and they will take over. Of course to a certain point I can be involved but I can say my coaching staff is very competent. The threshold for a touchline ban used to be four yellow cards, but that has been reduced to three this season with Manchester City's Pep Guardiola and Fulham boss Marco Silva also serving bans due to the clampdown. Guardiola watched City's shop 2-1 defeat to Wolves in September from the director's box at Malinux and admitted he needs to try and control his emotions more on the touchline. It's not a big issue, he said after the game. When I was a player at Barcelona I was the least physical player ever but maybe I was one of the most booked players in Barcelona because I always talk and talk. Now as a manager it is the same. I say something if I think it's an injustice or something I don't like. I have to control it. In the stands it is impossible to get a yellow card. I was so relaxed, I tried to analyze what happens. But there when you see a few things you don't like then I will say. I'd love to get no cards, I'd like to control. I will try to do it, but I cannot assure you 100% that I will. United currently sit 6th in the table, having won 4 of their last 5 league games, while Everton are now 2nd bottom having been hit with a 10 point deduction for breaching the Premier League's profit and sustainability rules, and an independent commission found that Everton had overspent by around £24 million over the past five years. However, Everton are set to appeal their punishment, branding it a wholly disproportionate and unjust sporting sanction. If you enjoyed the video make sure to smash the like button and make sure to subscribe to Man United Hub to get all the latest updates.